Now coming to the resultant discussion of bioassay of acetylcholine using interpolation method. Now what we have did in the first cases we have done the CRC. That's CRC. Now whenever we are taking the CRC that means already this particular experiment or part of this particular experiment we have performed. So how we are finding the percentage response you first write the concentration then you should measure the height let measure the height and which one is the highest 10 is the highest so directly you write that 100 so if the 10 is 100 9 is 90 8 is 80 6 is 60 like that we are going to find the uh, percentage response let uh, like that we are going to find the percentage response now whatever next now in the test concentration we do not know the concentration we need to find the concentration so you have to calculate the what is the concentration of acetylcholine in the test sample. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So we are going to inject the 0.1 ml, 0.2 ml and 0.4 ml of the test and we are going to get the uh, graph. Now from that what we are going to see test 0.1 ml, test 0.2 ml and test 0.4 ml. So this is your the concentration. Again you just find the height using the scale. So, 3, 5, 6, for example, this is the hypothetical, 3, 5, 6, I have written. Now, again, if 10 is 100, 6 is how much? 60, 5 is how much? 50, 3 is how much? 30. So, like that, you have to find the percentage response for both the standard curve as well as the stat, uh, test curve. Both the standard curve and test curve, you are going to find the uh, response. Now I will show you one example. Now, uh, now with the example I will discuss how we are finding the concentration of the test sample. Now this is you can say that CRC of the standard acetylcholine solution like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.6, 3.2 and 6.4 and that is the height of the response. Now here what is the highest? 3.4. Now 3.4 is the 100 percent. So 3.4 is 100 percent means 2.6 is this one, 2.4 is this one. So by the back calculation, it was calculated the percentage response. Once we are getting this table, now we need to draw the this particular plot. Clear? We need to find the this particular plot. Now how we are going to find this particular plot? For example, point 0.1. Clear? Point 0.1 say here point 0.1. 2, 3, like that we are uh, going to find that, clear, we are going to find that. Now, here it is the point 0.1, so point 0.1 is 26 percent, point 0.2, point 0.2 is 32 percent, point, uh, next one is this one, point 0.4, 44 percent, so like that you are, we are going to plot the graph, clear, so that is the uh, you can say that graph which is obtained after the uh, standard response curve standard response curve graph now what you are going to do now again this is the test solution response now in the like this is the test solution response so test solution response 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 ml so this is the response so if 3.4 is 100% how much will be 2.7 so like that again you are going to do the calculation now from that we are we have taken these three concentration we are going to concent uh, three concentration because first concentration not that much uh, you can say that prominent effect it was shown so we will take that this three concentration now 0.2 ml of test solution so 0 0.2 0 0.2 is 38.24 percent so we are going to 38 let so that is point so we are extrapolating and how much we are finding we are finding the 0.29 that's why we have written 0.2 ml of test solution contain 0.29 microgram of the standard acetylcholine. So, 1 ml contain how much? So, this is the concentration. This is corresponding to the 0.1. Similarly, 0.4. 0.4 is 61. Clear 61. So, interpolating we are uh, getting here the 72. And last one is the 0 0.8. 0.18 is the 79. And for that we are getting that 1.8. So 
if the 0.4 ml is 0.72 microgram of the standard so 1 ml contain how much it is coming 1.8 microgram and 0.8 ml of test if it is uh, 1.8 ml of standard so 1 ml contains the point uh, that is 2.25 microgram so we are getting this now you take the average of this thing so because we have getting the three different concentration so you take the average so after taking the average so this is the final you can say that result that is the concentration of unknown acetylcholine sample was found to be 1.83 microgram per ml so it is the very easy experiment through this experiment we can perform the or we can find the concentration of acetylcholine sample present in unknown uh, sample so it is the interpolation by osa method so you can perform it you can draw it and you can calculate it thank you